Okay. I think we need to stop doing this whole forex thing for the fun of it. Mm. <laughs> Why did you leave? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you guys didn't celebrate me actually when I was there. What's up traders? Welcome to another installment of Market Masters Out and About Edition with myself, Kobe Tambani from Top Trader South Africa. This season is sponsored by Exynos, an international multi-asset broker which is also licensed right here in South Africa. On this show, I sit down with the most prominent and talented traders in the industry and we have chats on all things trading. I'm still hacked. That you said I come from money. I don't come from money. <laughs> no, for real, no, really. Yeah. Zero. Zero, really. I mm. promise. I'm shocked. Like, right, you can I, see. Oh, like, I, I, guys, I'm, let me tell I, you. I'm genuinely surprised right now. After, when yeah. I went to after, first day after, yeah. right, I had one pair. I remember I had vans. Okay. And then I've, I had my blue jeans, white top, and jean jackets. I'll never in my life forget that. Mm. You know, and I remember walking into an environment of, well-established children yeah, you know yeah, yeah. money you know this one's father is this and this one's mother is this and this one comes from this and this one is driving dude it was so painful to a point where you know um the weather changes when it's cold you'd wear like um a hoodie and jeans and sneakers on a hot day you wear shorts i had the same outfit throughout so i couldn't change to winter i couldn't really change to summer I was consistently wearing the same things. Yeah. So I don't come from money. Yeah. Nonsense. Mm. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm, surprised. I'm telling you, yeah. I don't come from money. No, but I hear and you, I think and I you, believe you. You though. see it in the passion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me wanting to change. Yeah. Me wanting to um, build. Me wanting to work towards my dreams. Because yeah. I see the transformation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what I was like. Yeah. I'm in love with what I'm like, yeah, and yeah. I know where I'm going. Okay, but you're somebody. You're somebody who's really done so well for themselves. Like. I have. Look, you have. Though. Listen, I have. Yeah. And I was. I was actually at home yesterday and i had this conversation with my mom and dad and every time they say you've done good i am moved yeah. you know also me being able to go home sit and think look at the look at the environment and just think to myself i come from here yeah my walk my drive to sensing yeah. you know what i mean yeah um I've worked hard. You honestly, have, you by have. myself. Yeah. Mm. And you've made such a big impact on the industry though. Like, generally speaking, <laughs> look at that yeah. smile. <laughs> you you know like that. Yeah, because every time you say that, I'm just like, have I? <laughs> <laughs> no, but generally speaking, you really have made your mark in the industry as um, as somebody who's like been able to push hard, so hard though. Yeah. Like you should be proud of yourself. And yeah. You must be proud of yourself. Though. I really am. Not not too proud. No, but, but like, I'm proud enough to be like, okay, look where you come from. Going. Look yeah. where you come from. Look where you're going. Mm. Look where you are right now. You guys now. actually need to look at my before and after pictures. Okay. Can, it's can, a mess. Can we have, we're going to put them up on screen yeah, for please, people. Yeah, Yeah, we'll put them there's, up on screen for before this. and after. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I want, I want you guys to, maybe you'll understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mobile. And this is why I'm very attentive Yeah. when I speak. This is why I think you've seen most of my lives, how I talk to people, things I say, mm. how I react to certain things. I came a long way. Yeah. You know, but we're here now. Yeah. Have I worked hard? Definitely. Um, it's still a long journey, mm. but I know I'm going to get to where I need to be. Yeah. By mm. God's grace. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So you've got, uh, you started, okay, so I, I, I genuinely just want to go in chronological order your life right now okay. so that you can just break it down. I, I'm not going to ask how you got into Farid, I'll ask who mentored you, into, uh, like who, who plugged you into the industry. But before I actually get to that, you were trading, I know you were trading in varsity, obviously, right? I was. You were. Probably the most popular story ever. The yeah. only thing you guys <laughs> captured from the story of me trading in varsity is the fact that I used to pay for my assignments. That's the <laughs> yeah, only thing but, you guys should But remember. that's such a crazy story, though. The fact that Geleto was paying for... When you told me that story, I was like, yeah. ah, Joe. Like, I, like, I, I think, did. I think I went back home, and, and you, I think you told me this last year, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I, I went back home, I was like, yo, nice life problems. I wish I, I, I was in that position to pay some I people. I did. But, like, wait, I actually want to ask. Were you actually making, like, bag when you were able to pay people uh, to do stuff for you? Yeah. 
So remember, um, there was a lot of pressure, yeah. right, at AFTA. Um, when I started tasting the first bit of money, I didn't want that feeling to go away, you know. Also, that's why I'm saying the transformation from what I was mm. to what I now am or was. I don't know. Just that change. Um, I couldn't let go, man. And yeah. I was so consistent in making my money. I lost a lot of money, mm. but I got to a point where now I could afford to focus on my career. Yeah. Meaning, if there's an assignment and if my after lecture is watching, <laughs> <laughs> I paid for all your assignments. Mm. So... Um, I, I had enough money to pay. I had a very understanding admin guy. You know, he would say, my cows, I just want this much. I'll push this, push that. But I know this is very bad to say on camera. Yeah. But I was really passionate about Forex yeah, and yeah. times were just not aligning for yeah, me. Yeah. Just having to be in class and now NASDAQ is moving. Yeah, yeah, now you're yeah. holding losses. You're not going to focus in class. Mm. You know, um, other times you're thinking, geez, I need to go buy drip. You know, I just made a good 10K. Yeah. This guy's telling me about iOS and um, depth <laughs> of field. I'm like, I'm not going to stay in this class. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but I made enough. Yeah, no, but definitely one passion took over, obviously. Yeah, you know, yeah. It had I, to. I honestly couldn't balance it. I won't yeah, even lie to you. It was unbalanceable, if mm -hmm. you can put it like that. <laughs> yeah, no, but that's... Exodus is one of the first brokers in the industry to introduce instant deposits and withdrawals. This enables traders to receive their funds within seconds of requesting them without any manual human interference. We are also regulated by the FSCA, the FSA, the FCA and SISEC. When you're trading, you want to ensure that the funds you've deposited with your broker are in the safest of hands. Exynos keeps all trader funds completely separate from its own company funds. This is in accordance with our strict internal policies and procedures. Even if the worst occurred and something happened to Exynos as a whole, customer funds would be completely secure. Great, so around this time you're trading but like, what was like your first deposit that you, do you remember your first deposit that um, you made? How much did I make? No, yes, like, I, I remember. Yeah. I actually remember. Let me tell you the story. To my dearest pastor, thank you for introducing me to Forex. So, <laughs> I got introduced to Forex in the name of, God said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see cars. Hey. Mm. I see millionaires mm, in the room, you know? Mm, I see, you know? Yeah, so my yeah. pastor was just going on and on and on and on. So in my head, I was so hyped up. I'm like, listen, I'm going to be a billionaire yeah. next year, yeah. you know? Um, he, he taught us a bit of Forex. Okay. I remember our first deposit alongside my mom and dad okay. was 10,000 rands. Oh, we okay. lost it all. Really? Yeah. Wait, um, but just 10,000 rand as a collective or just 10,000 rand individually? <laughs> oh, what are we going to get the money for individually? <laughs> 10,000 rand Collecti collectively. Collectively, okay. Correct. Okay. So um, we, deposit the, we deposited the funds yeah. because God said there would be cars and Mercedes Benzes and billionaires and I'm just thinking you know I'm gonna be the next big thing but when you look back back to that moment right there where you equipped enough to deposit that money let me tell you what I've learned about this life thing um, I believe in destiny helpers okay very 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 powerful thing there's a lot of things that God introduces to you through other people yeah so the process might not make sense mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. but it's what needs to be done that will be done and has to be done yeah, yeah, yeah. so it didn't make sense i wasn't equipped but here i am now yeah. it's not by an um it's not by a mistake it's not it's not a thing of i worked hard mm -hmm. yes i did work hard mm -hmm. but trust me a big part of it is god yeah, you know yeah, yeah. that pastor introduced us to Forex. Yeah, he didn't yeah. know what he was doing. <laughs> Be honest, he really didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, but here we are. I believe he was just a destiny helper. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's powerful, though. That is powerful. That is powerful. I mean, it's, that's why I keep saying I cannot explain how passionate I am yeah. about this industry. Yeah. It's even beyond my imagination. And this is why when people ask me things like, and I think you and I have had countless conversations 
of this nature where you want to understand where do I see myself in the next five years or mm. so and so. And I just keep saying, I'm going to keep working. Mm. I, I know God because uh, clearly it's his plan. Yeah, yeah. He, will just plug, he will just keep plugging me on, you know mm. what I mean? Mm. Yeah, no, that's great. So right now you're trading, you're in school, and then you decide to open up uh, Club FX Investments. Mm -hmm. Like what, what actually prompted you to want to start Club X Investments? Let's actually start there. I think that's interesting. Another destiny helper. Oh, okay. Believe it or not. Really? Another destiny helper. He knows himself. Um, okay. Yeah, I just, I'm not going to mention nah, his name. it's okay. Um, I was trading, right? He knew how passionate I was. And he said, we're going to register a company. Mm. I'm like, but what do you mean? He's like, yeah, we're going to register a company. He registered the company for me. I named it. And I kicked off, you yeah. know, I was passionate. I was in love with standing in front of people, giving people knowledge, um, helping them understand what's what, where does it come from, who, why. Um, I was in love with the whole process of people constantly getting back to me with, yeah, Kelsey, yeah. I made this much. I was able to pay for this. My mom said, you know. Yeah. So that is how Club FX was given birth to. I think back in 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here we are now after a few years, you yeah, know, yeah. have beautiful offices. We're really formal now. We have an amazing team. Um, it has grown, honestly, yeah. you know. So it obviously all came from I'm teaching, but I need to be professional. Let me register a company. Yeah, yeah, yeah so true, so true. And I think. Uh, there's so much lack of professionalism in the specific industry, mm. especially on the teaching side. People think they can just go about just teaching however and mm. yeah, just because somebody gave you money. And uh, I think that's really good, the fact that you see it from that standpoint. Oh, hey, dude, we've got to yeah. keep this professional. Definitely, Immobile. Mm. But this is what, you know, this is the conversation I also have with a lot of people. Not everyone wants to run business the same way. Okay. You know, And I think it's very important for everyone to try and understand what each individual is trying to do or yeah. rather is doing yeah other people are honestly comfortable with giving signals from their bed they're not trying to run business the right way yeah yeah other people are comfortable with driving fast cars making noise and selling mentorship programs that's okay you know and then other people find it as a I have to be as professional as possible mm -hmm. I need to be registered I need to pay tax I need to have telephones i need to have an office people need to find me somewhere you mm -hmm. know so i think we run business in different ways and it's very important for one to try and understand what business yeah. each individual is running yeah so being okay i'm gonna i, I kind of have to single you out because you're a female uh, yeah, I, because Why? no listen Why? no listen it is a male dominated <laughs> industry <laughs> that, that it's very but like in the beginning when you started at club fx do you feel like the industry accepted you uh, like with open arms, or did you have to fight to to be fight really hard <laughs> to be like, hey guys, I'm getting to see me. <laughs> I'm see here me. now. <laughs> um, or do you think like you got the support and you accepted by the industry? You're like, oh no, we accept you, dog. Do your thing. No, actually, I don't even know. How am I even gonna answer that? It's not. It's not the music industry. It's not yeah. a space of actors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need each other in this industry. I'm not, yeah. for real, think about it. I'm not walking into the hands of anyone. Okay. And they're not walking into my hands. Yeah. You know, um, unless this was my mentor and I'm now walking into their company, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But this is me basically saying, I knew what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I walked into an industry yeah. that I knew very well. Mm -hmm. This is very male dominated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> so, I, I knew I had one, I had one assignment and one assignment only, and that was to impact lives, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. I'm still on the journey of, you know? So, it's not about being, I did not, listen, I didn't care about all those things. Mm. I was not even aware of all those things. I met really great people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did get into a lot of conversations with really amazing yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. I learned a lot from really experienced people. Mm. And I was able to build myself. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've heard you say before that uh, it, in this, especially this walk, it's really difficult to do it without a mentor. Yes. Who yes. mentored you? It's also very difficult to do it without the support <laughs> of your family, okay. and I don't want to leave that out. You okay. know, mm, this is a very hard industry. Yeah. 
And if your mom and dad or sister are honestly out there to support you, I promise you, you're gonna, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna rush it. You're gonna be very patient with yourself, you know. Um, who mentored me? Yeah. Who mentored you? <laughs> I get so many people unfollow me every time I answer this really? question. Really? Uh, it can't be that deep, dude. Honestly, it can't be that deep. <laughs> um, it's not deep, but people just don't understand, man. Gang, but are, are, are people like claiming that self? I'm just getting <laughs> caught up in conversations of Kelsey didn't mention me, and I'm just uh, like, yeah. but what do you mean? You know? Yeah. I've gotten into really into a lot of conversations. Okay. With existing traders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've spent time with some of them. Okay. I've learned from some of them. Mm. So I'm basically gonna say I've been in. I've what? How do I put it? I have networked. Yeah, yeah. With a lot of them. Um, who mentored me? Ne? The person I'm going to mention, I'm going to mention because after a few classes mm. or rather a few conversations with this individual, I saw a change. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. This person gave me a lot of attention. This person helped me mm. um, through it all, helped me understand how things are done. You know, I would I would call at like 10 p.m. Like, oh my God, I blew my account. And he'd be like, no, it happens, yeah. you know. Um, he would bring me into a very inspirational space. Okay. You know, would pick me up in his car just for that feeling yeah, of, yeah. I promise you, this is where you're going to get. Yeah. Ash. Leadership. Hey, leadership. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, leadership honestly did impact me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would love to say he did mentor me. I can proudly say this yeah. because there was a huge change after the first cl first few classes or other conversations or mm. spaces that he brought me into yeah there was a different feel yeah you know you touch on something so powerful there you know when you say uh you've had you had so many conversations with yeah. so many people and i know that when it comes to this journey of, ch of trading forex people it, it is a long journey mm -hmm. you know but i think conversations with people are important mm -hmm. you know but you also said that conversations with people are important like also it depends what type of conversations okay so speaking with who yeah but speaking about the industry is one thing but speaking about the the actual trading is another thing mm -hmm. right yeah so how important are those conversations of you having conversations with people speaking about trading I think, um, like I said, I'm just going to repeat myself. It also depends with who okay. and what type of conversations are being had. Yeah, yeah. You know, and what are you trying to take from those conversations? You know what mm. I mean? They really are important. And I think um, mentors, we mentors actually now have a responsibility mm. of creating environments where individuals can come and network yeah, yeah, you know yeah. there's so much that one can learn from having a conversation with the next yeah. like i said to you the other day you could pick up so much from having a conversation with me yeah. and i could honestly learn so much from having a conversation with you you know so these conversations are important but they also stop somewhere you mm. know have a conversation to learn take something from that person and move on with your journey yeah. don't get stuck in conversations yeah. that is when you actually become overly inspired yeah. and that's the biggest problem for me okay where one just doesn't know where to cross the line it's okay to look up to someone but don't not get caught up in yeah, being a spectator yeah. yeah you know i believe once you have too many conversations you're not overly inspired and now you're all of a sudden an a spectator. You sit and watch, yeah. you know, and these things just play in your head. But little do you know, I am not executing. Mm. So, yes, talk with the right people, have conversations and then move on. Yeah. Yeah. You. <clears throat> sorry. Everything you're saying is powerful. So, guys, how I, inspirational <laughs> am I? <laughs> mm -hmm. So as you're just talking, you know, you, you're kind of just prompting stuff in my mind and especially stuff that I was going to ask you yes. know, but you said ment uh, mentors have a responsibility <laughs> yes yeah. we have a huge responsibility. responsibility but like okay let's talk about that responsibility okay of, uh, <laughs> stuff that has been done over the years yes we've seen a lot of stuff being done over the years yes a lot some shocking extremely shocking so yeah shocking so but like what are trends right now that you believe that uh going into 2022 it's a new year guys it's a new that's year that's so hard to, uh, going into what 20... if i get into trouble uh, like i said <laughs> <laughs> the fallout will deal with itself honestly but like, what... like if i speak my mind it will be war war it is and this question <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Where are you going to be when the war takes yeah, off? I'll be watching from the sidelines. Um, <laughs> trends that I think yeah. we need to bring to an end in 2022. Ne? Yeah, yeah. And I'm including myself in this. Okay. I did a lot of self-introspection. Yeah, yeah. So I'm very well aware that I'm part of. Okay. I think we need to stop doing this whole forex thing for the fun of it. Mm. Very boring. But I think what we're not aware also aware of is how many people were hurting in the process yeah. of just doing things for the fun of it mm. you know and this for me applies to different individuals mm. inclusive of myself in yeah. the game how we do things and how we've just forgotten about where this whole thing is rooted from mm. you know and i'm going to speak for myself here my thing is i want to be impactful you know what i mean so if i get lost in doing things for the fun of it there's a lot of people that get hurt mm. there's a lot of people that um also lose it because in the midst of us doing things for the fun of it mm. people uh, people are looking you know people are trying to learn people are trying to relate you know people are also trying to make as much money or whatsoever so i think we need to bring to an end the fun of it mm. we need to carry ourselves differently just mm. understand how important we are you know mm -hmm. and how people look up to us yeah you know so i think let's just take it back to the roots try by all means to be impactful again yeah mm. <laughs> <laughs> guys no ways <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's true you know these yeah. things these are things that i i think to myself that oh my word if we could just change you know yeah if we could have conversations amongst ourselves where we say guys where are we doing it wrong? Mm. What are we going to try to change? How are we going to work together to make a difference again? Mm. You know, um, what is it that hasn't been done that we want to give birth to? You yeah. know, yeah. So if we can have, but after all, we just, everyone is so focused on building themselves, which okay. is so important. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Um, but I think now let's just get back to business. Yeah, it's 2022. Yeah, yeah. So true. Yeah. yeah. So we're in Sanson right now. Um. Uh, <laughs> we're in Santon right now. You we're at your offices right yes. here. Uh, you've got Girl Get Up. Yes. But before we talk about Girl Get Up, can we talk about what happened before you actually got found yourself here right now? Because you actually had a period of your uh, life. I think it was last year for about six months where you were, at, <laughs> where you were a CEO of a broker. Yeah. You found yourself being a CEO of a broker, you know, and obviously it was, it was news at the time. Like, I didn't find myself. What do you mean I found myself? No, you found it. Okay, became. You, you became. Okay, yes, fine. Me, I, I take correction. <laughs> you became a CEO of a broker. Yes. You know, I take mm -hmm. correction. So now um how did you find yourself in that position as well because like that's like gee like that's those so, are those are some really boss bro, moves though I, like I moving said, from a mentor next thing chiki chiki how get it what's going on what's going on here yeah. wow yeah. um so you're trying to understand what exactly yeah, no as in like how did you find yourself like there like, like oh okay yeah, okay yeah. um first things first um all my really close friends and know the conversations we've always had mm. For me, it was more than just being a mentor, you know? Mm. I've always wanted to know, I'm pressing buy and sell, but where is it coming from, okay. you know? Um, what's this influence by? I've always been keen yeah. to tell my people more than just buying and selling the market, mm -hmm. you know? You understand what I mean? Mm. And also, I've always also been interested in people we look up to in the industry, not as mentors, you know? Um, so, because there's individuals that obviously knew about my passion, mm. I was fortunate enough, uh, by the grace of God, to work with um, people that I looked up to or always dreamt of mm. being in the same space with. So um, I became the CEO of a certain broker. I did a very good job. I learned a lot. I worked with really amazing people. Um, got to learn a lot. But unfortunately, you know, you learn and then you have to spread your wings and um now execute what you've always dreamed of yeah. and i think that's the beautiful thing about being with people that are actually mentors you know they okay. build you they brush you they teach you um it, it just becomes a really beautiful space and when the time is right they now release you okay. to become greater than yeah you know so that's what happened to me and it's not something that anyone will understand because I didn't take anyone through it, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. 
You guys didn't celebrate me actually when I was there. No, you so said, I don't know why you guys are interested. Eh? No, but you, like, you guys, I, I keep then, saying, you didn't. And, and, yeah, no, but I hear what you're saying. Though. You know what bothers okay. me about that whole chapter yeah, in Mobile? Yeah. Instead of clapping hands, people had too many questions to ask. Yeah. And my thing is, even if, let's say, I don't know what, let's say I didn't get there the right way, can you clap hands? You know, okay. actually, and not even ask 100 billion questions and question and yeah, deny yeah, yeah. and there's no way. So I got, a, I got a lot of, ah, there's no way, which is honestly understandable. But I think people who are really close to me know what I've always wanted to become. Okay. They know the field that I wanted to play in. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I eventually did. I'm still playing in the same field. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I am beyond just being a mentor, yeah, you yeah. know, for me, it's, it's bigger yeah. than that. Yeah. So yeah, that's how I found myself there. <laughs> <laughs> did no, I answer you? No, you did. You did. Very it's not much a PR so, answer, yeah. No, that was, that, that was in depth and you're very honest okay. about it. Yeah, you I'm know? very and honest. <laughs> no, but like, you, you understand though, you were there six months. Was that your plan all along? Like, no, it wasn't a short, plan, short period of time. But, no, it really wasn't. Okay. Let me say, it really wasn't. But at that time, we, at, when we hit six months, I was ready to become. <laughs> Guys, what answer do you want? <laughs> Why did you leave? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> No, but like you have, no. actually, you have actually answered though. You I know? have. You have answered I, though. It, listen, even if it was three months, I yeah. would have left. Okay. You know, um, it was beautiful. I learned. Okay. Very important. But I was mentored. Yeah. You know, I, I played my part. Everyone else played their part, and it was time to leave, do okay. what I had to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, that's cool. I won't even. Let me not even ask about that car. Like the ones they'll conclude uh, for themselves. I won't even ask about that car. You know, I think. We, what do you I, want to know about the eh? car? Where is it now? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, obviously, you know which one I'm talking about. You know what I like about you guys? <laughs> I like it when you make up stuff about me. Yeah. Um. I don't think there's anything as interesting as hearing, apparently, Kelsey, <laughs> apparently, I heard I was married in Durban. Mm. I heard this happened. Yeah, I heard, yeah. And I just love it because I don't give anyone enough yeah, yeah. to know about me, yeah. you know? So it's so nice to see people conclude yeah, and yeah. make up things for themselves. Yeah. Where's the car? I want to know where the car is. Everyone wants to know where the car I, is, but I also want to know where but the let's car leave is. It like that, where's the right? car, guys? <laughs> I don't know where's the car. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know where the car is. No, that's fine. We don't even have to get into that. Yeah, but I really don't know where the car is. That's fine. I can <laughs> <laughs> uh, So you've got Girl Get Up. What is Girl Get Up? What are you all about? And what are you doing? Okay, um, so I love my girls and I put a lot of emphasis yeah. on this. I love my woman. I love a woman being able to assist, help each other to obviously um, become better. But one thing that I've also paid a lot of attention to is the reason as to why a lot of our ladies are stuck in most of the things that they're stuck in. Yeah. You know, and I've come to understand that in most cases it's because of the financial status. Yeah, yeah. You know, so. Um, it would be very unfair for me not to cater mm. for them. So we gave birth to Girl Get Up. Yeah. Um, a Girl Get Up is basically a program within Club FX that focuses mainly on women in Forex. Okay. But I'd love to term it as women in finance, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So we have really interesting things. Other brands have also partnered with us. It's just honestly a beautiful world of a girl having confidence from the little that she makes mm. consistently. Mm. No, that's yes, and then I think the other common question I get is, do I teach gents? Yeah, I do. <laughs> but now what I need everyone to understand is, Girl Get Up is a program within Club FX. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we have Club FX Investments, um, which is obviously, you know, the yeah. finance house. But now we also just gave birth to Girl Get Up. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. that special baby, yeah, you yeah. know, that I can fully take care of. Your second born, basically. When I, what do you mean second born? I think the club effects is the first born. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you almost shook me. Oh, yeah, guys, I don't want... <laughs> and now I'm making you a baby mom. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, wow, no, William. <laughs> but okay, yeah, so... 
I can't believe you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, I'm just laughing at the fact that I just said like, I'm making you a baby mom. <laughs> I know what you're laughing at. Why? No, I'm laughing at literally what I just said. It's just like we're so ridiculous. Though. Okay. Yeah, no matter other stuff. <laughs> it's fine, laugh. <laughs> now I know what you're laughing at. <laughs> Let, 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 let's just move on. <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah. laugh, guys. Yeah, so that so that is basically Girl Get Up for you. Yeah, yeah so I wish you all the best with Thank Girl you. Get Up. Like, really make your impact. And I believe with this interview, definitely a lot of uh, a lot of females are gonna be out there and see this and be like, oh no, get it. And the guys, please, and we're trying to yeah, impact. Guys, guys, you, you can and also get happy. We're trying to impact. Yeah. Not really gender based, but yeah, girl yeah, get up specifically yeah, is yeah, yeah. I wanna change yeah. how my girls think, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I wanna change how they do and things. That's so needed though. So needed. And I just wanna better them. What's a turning point in your trading where you felt like, yeah, no, this right here, like the, a moment that actually defined your like your trading, specifically your trading, especially on the charts, where you felt like there was a moment in the in the in your trading where you're just like, Yeah, no, here yeah, this was a real turning point for me. Um, I think I think I've had quite a lot, honestly, okay. and some of them are events, and okay. then others I personally experienced within the market yeah, itself. Yeah. Um, I don't know which one to pinpoint exactly yeah, with yeah. both of them. Actually, with the market side. Yeah. But I've had a lot of moments where I would sit and come across something crazy. Yeah. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> you know? I'm like, what? And then I try it out. It becomes really successful. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm just like, geez, this is crazy. There's mm. a lot of things I know mm. um, that only me and me and myself, me, Kelito, Princess Fakura, Kelsey, mm. um, know, yeah. you know, um, that I've experienced. And I'm just like, geez, my life will never be the same again. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of them are things that you honestly can't even tell to anyone, okay. you know, um, because what becomes of you then? I don't know if you understand what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of things that make you mm -hmm. that you cannot give away. Okay. Because then what becomes of you? Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah, no, I'm getting you. So, um, yeah, but also being able to impact people and getting calls like, Kelsey, I was able to pay my school yeah, fees. This yeah, happened, yeah, my mom, yeah, this. Yeah. Then I knew it, I'll never be the same. Mm. And then secondly, one particular event, um, when I cut the ribbon at a certain broker, um, geez, I had the most amazing people in that room, yeah. people that I've always wished to work with, people mm. that I've seen on TV, mm. um, others voluntarily came, okay. you know, and there was a moment where I had to cut that ribbon and everyone raised their class yeah. for me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There I knew it. I, yeah. I've, I've worked hard. Yeah. Not that I've made it, but I've been working hard, yeah, you yeah. know, and these people can honestly appreciate me celebrate you know call me by name even have beautiful messages for me i knew it that what i'm doing is right i gotta mm. keep going mm. yeah mm -hmm. beautiful <laughs> 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 yeah so um you know there's i know there's a there's, there's a lot of statements going around as as to like there's 95 percent of people who are struggling to become profitable in forex and only five percent are successful it's different stats some yeah, two, yeah, some yeah. say three percent some say but i'm just mm, gonna yeah, say 95 yeah. percent five percent mm -hmm. and all that so but you, what do you think is the key reason that there's that 95 percent is so big like it's so large like what are things that uh key reasons that people are struggling actually to become profitable in this game um geez that's a beautiful question um number one i think people don't understand what forex is there f to do for them sorry um the mentality of wanting to become a billionaire is great but not in the forex space you know okay and this is when one doesn't even appreciate the thousand rand they make mm. in profits this is when one decides i'm going to over leverage because if i don't then i'm just going to collect 200 rands and i'm not worth 200 rands mm. you know um this is where one says i'd rather blow than to make 500 rands or 7,000 rands i don't know you know and i'm also victim of this by the way um the reason as to why there's such a huge amount of us on the 95 percent i'm not putting myself there but it's just an example <laughs> the reason as to why there's so many of us on that side 
is because we're so stuck up into wanting to become billionaires, but little do we understand what Forex is actually there to do for us. Mm. I think for me, it's a thing of this thing is here to sustain us. You know, this thing is here to save you from that terrible work environment. This thing is here to save you from seeing the boss that you hate every morning. Mm. This thing is here to save you from all the hard labor. Mm. You know, now you're able to work in the comfort of your home. Now you're able to travel and trade from anywhere in the world. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, now you're even able to make slightly more than you did at yeah, work, yeah, you know? Yeah. So just understanding that I'm here to be sustained, mm. you know? Yes, I'm going to do so much more. Mm. Um, actually, I'm going to do so much better because I'm not in an environment that I don't like. Yeah. But the whole mentality of wanting to become a billionaire, it's just a bit disturbing for okay. me. But also it makes me then question, is this because of us mentors? Mm. Is this the message that we are bringing forth to our people? You're going you're to become a millionaire, you know? Mm. So I'm just trying to understand if it's us that became the biggest contribution within the cycle, or is it just a thing? You know what I mean? Mm. But I'm going to take the responsibility because I was told I'm going to become a millionaire, mm. you know? Um, and that's the one thing I've never wanted to tell any of my students. Yeah. I always say we're going to sustain ourselves. Yeah. Greatly so. But to become a billionaire, that's if you really worked hard. It's mm. possible, trust me. To become a millionaire, very possible. Okay. But I'm not trying to make anyone wake up tomorrow a millionaire. Mm. Mm -mm. Can I ask you a very burning question? I know what you're going to ask me. <laughs> Are you a millionaire? What's that? Have you made a million though? There's, there's you, different... Have, have you made a million though? Can you though? rather ask me if I've lost a million? I don't know. A lot of people can say they've lost a million. Have you? Made, have you made a million though? Why, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Have you made a million though? I mean, how long have I been trading since yeah. 2019? Very sure we've hit that mark. Yeah. I mean, why not? Yeah, but like, okay. I think uh, there was actually an Instagram question. I don't remember who it was from. That person was asking, "Holy, like." Now that you're trading, obviously you're trading, how do you manage money to eventually, like you speak about sustaining and about Forex sustaining you. Because what happens is that people eventually take their Forex money, give it back to the market, and then they don't use the rest of the, uh, the profits to actually sustain like their lives actually. But how did you actually manage your funds and money to be in the position that you're in today? Daily target. Okay. Simple. Yeah. Understanding how much you want to make and breaking that down in small portions. Okay. For example, let me show you something, right? Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to make an example of this. Mm. How much do you want to make in a year? In a month? In a month. Let's say 70. Yeah, yeah let's put a 70. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, that's even a lot. <laughs> you see, I said in a month. Yeah. I said in a month. I never said in three days. Mm -hmm. It's possible. But being able to make it in a month gives you so much comfortability. Do you understand what okay. I mean? And getting people are told they can make 17 three days. I'm yeah, saying yeah. 31 days. Okay. I'm including the weekends yeah, too, because yeah. on some days you'll make slightly more. If we say 70 divided by 31, your responsibility is just to make 2,000 rands a day. So I have targets of, I'm just going to make X amount of money every single day till I collect what I want to make in a month. Mm. Simple targets, daily targets. I mean, how do you trade without a plan? Yeah. Today you make a thousand, tomorrow's five, next yeah, day is fifteen. Yeah, what are yeah, you doing? Yeah. It's okay, but at some point if a lot of people sit in a month, you check your bank statement, everything you made went back to the markets. Why? You don't have targets. Mm. Simple. I don't know, I could be wrong, but that's how I do it. No, oh, but that's some that, that's a powerful piece of like And also just remember with um, unemployment and with the unemployment going on and us knowing that a lot of people don't get paid well yeah. nowadays, you know, yeah. especially when you're young. I mean, if you're 22 and already earning 17 a month, that's a lot. Yeah. And this is now that part that I refer to where I said, appreciate the small that you make every mm. single day, because that is going to make you the salary of a CEO in a month. Yeah. Think about it. I said a month, 31 days. But that's powerful. What that is saying. very it is. powerful. It is very powerful. And, and I think it's, it's, it's it changes, very like it's a change of mindset right there because a lot of people don't really see it that way of like, no, I gotta have daily targets. People are just trying to be like, nah, I'm just trying to clock 100k a month and I'm fine. 
But now, you see, in Mobile, and this is the conversation that I have with a lot of my students, there's life outside of Forex. A lot. There's a lot going on outside of Forex. People have passions outside of Forex. So make enough to obviously feed your dreams, mm -hmm. right? But also, I don't want to sit on my laptop the whole day, crash, cry, jump, have heart attacks, sway, pray, anointing oil, you know? It's all beautiful. But if you think about it, you, that's so much trauma on mm. yourself. And I say this to a lot to my students where I say, please have daily targets, hit that target, leave, yeah. do other things, you know, um, become someone else outside of Forex, mm. you understand? Mm. So if people can learn daily targets, I think there will honestly be a slight shift in our trading careers. Oh, that is so true. That is very true, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I like how when, she, when you say something yeah. and you're like speaking and then you're like, yeah, no, but I'm speaking. You know? And that's smile of yours. I listen to myself. And that's smile of yours. Though. Yeah, I'm like, geez, I'm actually, I listen, listen, yeah. there's me and then there's my brain. I feed my brain, Okay. you know. So sometimes my brain is like, no, Kelsey, and I tell it, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. Take in this information, confess it, and let it become. Even that was powerful, guys. <laughs> I'm joking. No, but okay. it was. It, it really was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you regard yourself as an experienced trader? Yes, guys. I am a very experienced trader. <laughs> Jeez, Confidently so. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, with you saying that, uh, let's go back to 2021 now, last year, mm. the previous year, where you felt like there was a moment in the market where you felt like if you weren't as experienced as you are, the market would have actually chowed you, like and just spit you out mm. yeah um, I had I had quite a lot of losses in 2021 okay um, had I not been experienced psychologically yeah I would have left the game long ago okay yeah so just understanding and knowing that it's part of you know being able to say it's part of means that you've experienced it before yeah and you fully understand that it's part of and I'm gonna move on from it yeah. so I had a lot a lot of those losses that honestly um, made me feel like i'm experienced and i'm not yeah, gonna allow yeah. this to drag me yeah you know yeah okay before we continue with the trading stuff um <laughs> i went to every time you, know, you cough it's just a problem <laughs> for me because now you're gonna drop things i'm not expecting <laughs> No, but I feel like there's one thing that we need to address. You're, you're a big deal in the industry. I, I feel like I've, I've told Am you that. Am I? I? You are. Jeez, yeah. No. You tell me like all the time. But you are, though. No, <laughs> no okay. okay. Instagram lives. Obviously, we had COVID. Ah. I know what you're gonna say. We had COVID, COVID mm -hmm. hit, man. And then everyone just moved to Instagram lives. And now Instagram lives are booming. Listen, I was even hosting Instagram lives. Yeah. How, like, not that it's stupid, but I'm like, yo, was that boredom or what? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. was that, I was a presenter. Is it? If it's just that, today we're adding um, Coco and <laughs> yeah, 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 Coco, how did you start trading? Yeah, yeah. That was me. Really? Mm. Yeah, you see, so uh, obviously uh, COVID, it opened up like this news. Mm. Lives were always there, but yeah. it just kind of opened up that let space even more and people just flocked there but there's one life that we need to address mm. i think it was early last year though early okay. 2021 um uh, there's a live you're doing with dr martin actually hey martin hey oh, I, let, let me tell you something <laughs> that was cringe to watch because you called dr martin boy a lot Okay. No, no, I don't think you understand. I did. Yeah. yeah. No, when you say you were like, boy, boy this, boy that, mm -hmm. boy that. And you know, the comments, everyone was going crazy in the comments. It yeah. really, I, I actually took some time to read this. Really, comments, really. Yeah. yeah, no, comments were lit though, eh? So I think that needs to be addressed though today for the eight. <sighs> <laughs> um, I have a very strong relationship with Martin. Mm. Um. And I understand why everyone is just like, what? what's going on, you know? We actually call each other my boy. Yeah, yeah. You know, we don't refer um, to each other as Skeleto or Kelsey or Precious or Martin or um, Linda or Lindo. Mm -hmm. Which one is which? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It's a thing of my boy. Yeah. So usually he would say boy and i'm like boy you know yeah, what i mean yeah. check how every time you post something yeah, about yeah, me yeah, he'd yeah. say congratulations boy yeah you know yeah um some of my other male friends also say boy mm. so um and that life specifically i think a very important word was then left out which is my 
you know, my boy. Yeah. But it was just us having a really amazing debate yeah, yeah, um, yeah. on the charts. And I just kept saying, boy. Because when we speak about the charts, we're passionate. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. So it was like, boy this, boy that. But I think because no one understands the nature of our relationship, mm. it was not relatable. Mm. Well, understand. Yeah, but understand. it's nothing big he knows, right, yeah, Martin? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. you're the good though, right? <laughs> boy, <laughs> boy. <laughs> no, we good, good. Yeah, yeah, we very good. 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 Yeah, no, yeah. that's great. You know, I was actually stressed. I'm like, is she actually gonna call me boy today? No. I'm like, yo. Oh. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> no, you. Mean. Yeah, no, but that's good though. So, like, okay, what are steps that people can actually start taking in order to improve their trading? Wow. Um, I think, yo, I, I'm going to sound like I'm repeating myself, actually. Um, like I said, have daily targets, you know, you said to become a successful trader. To, be, right? yeah, to improve their trading, basically. Oh, yeah. yeah. To improve so, improve, um, have daily targets, please. You know, um, have create spaces, networking spaces with existing traders. Um, you don't always have to hear it from the next big trader. Conversations amongst yourselves are just as important. Um, have a mentor, choose the right broker. And then lastly, um, look up to someone for the sake of understanding that it is definitely going to be you. You know, that person had a story the same way you have a story. Mm. But like I said, don't become overly inspired. You know, and then lastly, use every inch of those funds to invest into your dreams. Any other thing aside from Forex, then you'll start to see the change. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, that's perfect. And put aside enough money, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But putting aside... And also, guys, sorry, one last thing. Um, also, just plan how much of your investment you're willing to lose. I think that's very important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because people tend to forget that. You yeah, know? barcoding. Heck. Yeah, no, because like it's so easy to it's so easy yeah. to like fund now. You know, you find yourself just funding and then every five so, minutes, right? Yeah, like every you blow, you fund now. You blow, you mm. fund now. You blow, you fund now. You over leverage, blow. Yeah, <laughs> but you see now where the scam word comes from. It's not necessarily um, what people are doing anymore. Mm. It's people's internal experiences within the market where one will trade for like a year and not even see progress. And eventually, they'll then conclude it's a scam. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. if you actually sit down and self-introspect, print out your trading statement, print out your bank statement, you'll see the problem is you. Mm. You know, mm. honestly. Yeah. You know, That's what I think. <laughs> I don't know, I was on a live that day. I wasn't on a live, I was watching a live that then I commented, I'm like, people are lazy though. Thank you. They don't want to put in the work. I mean, and people want to see success in this industry, but they don't want to put in the work. Yeah, because it just looks so easy. It does. It honestly it looks does. very easy, which it's... I understand, honestly. Yeah, but that's that. So according to you, what do you really need to know to press the buy and sell button? Guys, there's so much more that goes in, aside from just buying and selling. Yeah. Um, there's a lot. Mm. I think now... Each mentor has the responsibility of understanding yeah. what happens on the other side. Okay. You know? And this is not me saying you have to be a CEO of a broker, no? Mm. But I'm also basically saying, please have a relationship with your broker. Okay. You know, have the zeal to want to know what's happening. Mm. You know? um, that way you can easily transfer the right information to your people. Mm. You, know? mm. you can even become one of the greatest advisors as to know, please stay away, don't do this because X, Y, Z, you know. Yeah. Um, I think it's actually kind of boring that we're blaming a lot of things on brokers. Mm. But if you sit, sit and think about it, had you known, bro, yeah, you know, had yeah. you actually known, had you read the T's and C's, yeah. Yeah. and this is where the biggest problem is in most cases, people are quick to react, yeah. you know, but little did they know, you're not allowed to. Mm. Or, it's, uh, you won't get, uh, I don't know, the, uh, let me not, but um, I'm basically saying let's take the time to actually know so much more than just the buy and sell. I could name a few, but there's honestly quite a lot and yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. vague, you know, so um, yeah, that's my answer for you. Okay. Uh, you are a big fan of uh, big time frames. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what is the importance of actually looking at the bigger time frame? 
Um, I think it's a very similar concept compared to that of life. Okay. Um, I think you, you're the one who asked me what my five-year plan was, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. So, um, for me, it's the same concept within the Forex market. Um, I'm big on trying to understand. I'm very attentive. Actually, my students will tell you this. Yeah. I want to understand why, what happened, why did it happen, mm -hmm. where is it going, for how long. Yeah. And that can only happen on the monthly or any other big time frame for me. Okay. Then I can comfortably say, because I know, I will execute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay. And when you execute, though, when you're looking at the big time frame, what... Will... Yes, that's a difficult one. I think it depends on the type of trader you are. Okay. You know, retail traders obviously go for smaller time frames, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, us swingers, honestly, me, it's usually monthly, it's usually daily, H4 weekly. Oh, so that's where you that yeah. really make your entries yeah, 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 really, yeah, on yeah. a big time frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Literally. You, so you're not even looking at like your 30 minute chart. No, I lose my mind. Is it? It moves too quick for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now that's perfect. So your biggest loss that you've had to date, not today, but not just in monetary terms, but like also like just your biggest loss where you look at the trading like, yeah, no, they, yeah, no. It uh, kicked me. Yeah, that was in hot water. Babe. Oh, my mom and dad are watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they know, yeah. but um, my biggest loss was just after, I think I had just moved to um, a new apartment. Mm -hmm. Listen, I had good money, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I lost, I think it was 11, I don't know if it was 11, 12, or 13,000 US dollars. Okay. That was the end of me. I died a little. What was going on there? Like, like what? I don't were know you who trading? was saying it was GBPSD. I'm yeah. not sure what speech or what war or who was voting or what the Something hell was going on. Yeah. But I was like, it's gonna come back. Yeah. It never came back. It still didn't come back till this day. So um, I saw a lot of blame. <laughs> I but was like, not okay. But like when you're talking 12, uh, 12 oh, let's just put it 12,000 US mm -hmm. right now. That's a lot of money. That's yeah. A, that's, a, that's, a hundred, that's a hundred and what? Yeah. Hundred that's and, a lot. That's a lot. That's though. a lot. That's, that's a lot. hundred K though. That's a lot, lot. Yeah. That's a lot. And if, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. For me, just in one day, that was a lot. Because yeah. I, I blew that account. Oh, so in one day. Listen, <laughs> I was, I think I had a lot of problems okay. also. Um, yeah, and no, awesome Jolo was just showing me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I was like, yeah. make money, go back, get yeah. you back. You know? yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. Okay. What's the biggest lesson that you took from that experience? Um, accept losses, take them confidently. Mm. And also decide how much of that account you're willing to lose. Okay. So I'd say um, risk percentage is very important mm. and that way you'll never actually blow a, an account yeah, which yeah, will yeah. close losses and still save your account to yeah, come yeah. back for a better trade okay no that's great and your most memorable trade <laughs> why your are you favorite... smiling eh? every uh... time you smile i get worried <laughs> because i'm like what are you gonna ask me uh, no i i you I'm having with but fiery I, questions. No, but I'm having fun here. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> I'm having fun though. So of course I'm going to smile because mm -hmm. like I'm enjoying right mm -hmm. now. I hope you're enjoying. I am enjoying, guys. Is it? Perfect. I'm yeah. having a good time. Yeah, your most memorable trade. <laughs> um, my most memorable trade was... I have it, but I just can't explain it. Okay. Um, I think this... Was it 2021? It must have been around about 20. No, it's no 2020. Okay. There was a season when Nasdaq was feeding me, man. Yeah, yeah, Oof. yeah. Mm. Every morning, got 80. Tomorrow, got eight. I had a good time. Yeah. But because I was a very immature trader, I lost okay. it all, Shem. Really? I'm not even gonna lie, guys. Yeah. So I made a lot of money only yeah, for me yeah. to lose it all. How boring is that? It's so annoying. You dude. spend so much time on the market only for you to lose and, it. And you give and you give it back so quickly and like yeah. it's like something just takes over yeah. you. And then by the time you actually wake up and you realize, oh And now you sit money? and question God, but God, now I sit and think but that pastor said in twenty nineteen <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna become a more you know what millions was he see? <laughs> and now you even wanna ask him, hey bro, 
Have you heard anything from God? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but that's great though. I want to ask something from your personal life though. Like I, you're you're a hand in the game though, obviously. And I know I know James out here. Like uh, what about I, I need to ask this before we actually close up this interview right now though. Like, um, are you dating anyone right now? <laughs> 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 I love that question. <laughs> I love, I just love the energy that comes with that question. Yeah. Like, I even oh just glow. Um, am I dating someone? No. No. Have you dated any Wait. traders, though? Can I ask that? In the industry? Yeah. Hey. hey. This one is a tough one. And it's pretty. This one. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, no, unfortunately, yeah, I haven't. haven't. Oh, okay. um, a dating wise? No, no. Yeah. No, I haven't. haven't uh, yeah. I don't. The, why are you guys not hitting on me? They're not hitting on me. Really? Mm. Hey, guys, she's opening up her DMs. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. But I haven't, man. Yeah. Um, I, I think also everyone's just cuffed. I don't know. Nah. They are. Everyone's cuffed and married and happy and woo, wow. Hey, what well, well, love lives here? Yeah, yeah, I'm still planting my seeds, I guess. Is I don't it? know. Yeah. But yeah. The, yeah, but like you guys. I hope it. this kills all the questions though. Yeah. I am not dating. You're single. Have I dated a trader? No. Yeah. Are you? Are, are you? Have a, I? No, are you, are I haven't. You, are you single and available, or single and not available? I'm single and very much in prayer. Mm. I, let's let's let's, let's conclude. <laughs> <laughs> let's conclude. Yeah, I'm single yeah. and very much in prayer. Nah, dude, thank you so much. We're, we're at the end you. of the interview oh, right now. I love. Thank you so much, yeah, Thank you no. for having me. No, thank it was you. a pleasure. Yeah, no, and I can't wait to see the edit. Is it? Yeah, I also can't wait. And I think also, most importantly, thank you for this platform. You know, I think, um, I don't know how many of us thank you, but you're actually doing a very good job. The mentees are able to refer back to your content, watch, you know, understand, learn, um, take a bit of advice. So thank you for that. It's a pleasure. <laughs> oh, before we close, advice for the hands. The, yeah. Oh, um, girls, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna try again in 2022, and I promise you, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be so much better. Mm. Um, let's focus. Give it one more shot, and see what things are gonna turn out like. Yeah. Have fun with it. No, perfect. Perfect. Now we can wrap it up. Can we? Okay. Are you happy? Yes. Satisfied. Satis okay, how do we do it? Before we get there, so a big thank you to our sponsor Exynos for making all of this possible, guys, mm -hmm. and for believing in the vision of Top Trader South Africa and bringing your mentors to you guys, to the world as well, and their stories to you guys. So a big thank you to Exynos. Go check them out. Anyway, at the we're at the end of the interview right now. I'm sitting here with Kelsey Eleto. Thank you so much, dude. I had so much Thank fun. Thank you. Yeah. You see, you call me dude now. Yeah, I get it. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How do we close it? Uh, anyway, my name is Mugia Tambani from Top Trader South Africa. And this is... And my name is Geleta Francis Fakudo, best known as Kelsey. And I am your best technical trader. <laughs> and obviously... <laughs> 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 No, perfect. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Shut up.